<clears throat> Sorry for the Rickroll, but as you have seen from the title of this video, it's supposed to be something more impressive than Rickrolling people. Yeah, it's it's just Elon Musk doing the Rickroll. That's that's the whole joke of this video. Uh, okay, okay, wait, I'm sorry. There's more to that than just this random defect that has a huge ass watermark on it. But before that, we will have to start our journey again at the beginning of the age of deepfake. Wait, that was just two years ago? The current, I would say the best, deepfake AI called Deep Face Lab was published around 2019, being one of the first deepfake program that can make movie production level face replacement. For example, in a recent trending music video built a by Bella Porch has also incorporated deepfake within it. And people within my community, including me, couldn't even tell apart which part is actually deepfaked and which was not. Not to mention one of the best deepfake artists, Control Shift Face, also utilizes Deepface Lab to make insanely real facial replacements as if they belong right on other people's faces too. This technique relies heavily on obtaining a lot of different angles of the face that you are deepfaking while also taking a huge amount of time to train the AI so it can accurately recreate the face and multiple continuous angles. And I will say we are very close to the peak of deep faking faces. However, this then takes up too much time and expertise to create accurate and good deep fakes in the case where you just want to impress your friends about Elon Musk showing some Elon Tusk. So some researchers has been working on the requirement of only needing one single front face and utilizing AI facial detail synthesis to create deep fake much faster and easier than before. Most successfully, this was done by that large watermark name in the previous few clips called SimSwap. This is slightly different from the face animation we have seen before as Deepfake puts the new face on top of a target video while face animation animates the face with driving facial movements. So technically there are two types of deepfakes under this gigantic deepfake methodology. A truly one image input to deepfake it all would probably attract more people to play around with it like how a filter does. Especially looking at Rickle and Musk dancing seems perfectly natural when combined with its low resolution MV. It's funny how well it fits on other people inside the MV2 and you can see it does a decent job of tracking Rick's face and uh, I mean Rick Elon Musk's face with glasses and also swapping the face underneath. From my experience, older research would have faces jumping and glitching around when the face is not as visible or clear but I see none of these on SimSwap which is amazing. And most of these impressive facial tracking definitely credits to Insight Face which is another research on facial analysis. The only downside is sometimes there would be a square artifact around the face as the face was generated and synthesized to fit the target's facial shape and place on top of the original face. It's especially more visible when the video is in higher quality too. This can be easily fixed during post editing with masks, but hopefully they would be able to fix this problem from within the training code down the line. The more unfixable part would be the chin splitting though as it would require a larger square but might ruin more backgrounds which isn't occupied by the face. Even worse, site profiles looks terrible as the input face is only the frontal image but to solve this it's either gonna be having more facial inputs or better facial synthesis AI which we would not know when it can really be mastered. So to put it into our official benchmark we can see that the face tracking is perfectly on point. Facial structures are really consistent and still retain some facial features here from Robert Downey Jr. What surprised me the most though is that the deep fix successfully went through the glasses and not acting weird even though the textures and the artifacts are still left everywhere on his face. Anyways, I would say impressive is an understatement. This research paper combined a lot of different previous research and sometimes beats another deepfake tool on par with deepface lab called face swap. These official results really do show how well SimSwap preserves the facial features and outperform others in frontal face deepfakes. Maybe it's time to say goodbye to the hardware demanding and time consuming way of deepfaking soon. Plus, it's way faster to create deepfakes from SimSwap too. I deepfaked the entire rig roll in just under 30 minutes. Works on beards and different skin color too. You can easily play around with it locally on Windows or you can link up with today's sponsor 27 stars to run these codes on an app for you or your business. 27 stars is a London based development company that creates custom tailored web and mobile applications for individuals or businesses of all sizes. With their expertises, any of your ideas can be deployed easily and it's just one request away. Currently, they are also providing an exclusive 10% discount for all of you guys if you 
choose to work with them. All you have to do is to include my name in the initial email to receive the discount and by working with them you are also indirectly supporting this channel which allows me to dedicate more of my time to work on these videos and thank you for that. And finally thank you for watching too. A big shout out to Andrew and many other Patreons and members that support my work through Patreon and YouTube. You can share your generated results over on my Discord channel or if you have any questions feel free to put it there too. Follow my Twitter if you haven't and I'll see you all in the next one.